Hey guys, great to see you again. If you are new here, my name is Bill Benoist. I'm a certified professional career coach in Silicon Valley. In today's video, I want to talk about three things you should not be doing when it comes to your LinkedIn profile. Any of these three things, if you are doing it, could hurt you if you're in career transition or you're looking for another job or maybe simply looking towards developing your career. The first thing you should not be doing is leaving off your LinkedIn photo for whatever reason that may be. The most common reason that I hear in my practice, because I work primarily with people in mid to late career, is they say they don't want to show their age. But here's a statistic for you. 21 times less likely you're even going to be clicked on if you don't have a photo, and 36 times less likely you're going to be messaged if you don't have a photo. So if you're leaving your photo off because you think that that's hurting you, um, guess what? You're probably not being clicked on at all because you don't have the photo. So put the photo on there. The second thing that I don't want you to be doing is using your LinkedIn headline to announce to the world you're seeking new opportunities. Now, there's two reasons for this. Number one, it just makes you look needy and desperate, and no one is going to really want to hire you or even uh, talk to you if you're coming across as needy and desperate. So that's the first reason. The second, and I think this is even more important, I want you to keep in mind that your headline is prime real estate space for your marketing brochure because LinkedIn is your marketing brochure. And you can be using your headline as a compelling headline statement or you could be using it as keywords or you can be using it um, in both. If you take a look at my LinkedIn headline, I help ambitious professionals find new jobs and then I put in um, career strategist and uh, executive coaching. You have 120 characters that you can use to um, for your LinkedIn headline. Don't waste it by writing out seeking new opportunities. It's not going to help you. Now the third thing that I don't want you to be doing and that is forgetting about your security settings and I see this a lot too. People will tighten down their security settings and then forget about it and years later they have no idea that their security settings are prohibiting others from actually either finding them or seeing their photo or even their name because their security settings will limit themselves to maybe only people that are in their network. So if I'm a recruiter and I'm looking for someone with your skills and your knowledge and your experience, I'm not going to be in your network, most likely. And so I want to find you. And if I can't find you because your security settings are locked down so tight, well, it's really working against you. Why do you even have a LinkedIn profile? Because again, LinkedIn is a professional networking environment. If this was Facebook, it's a whole different story. I would want you to lock down your Facebook account. But LinkedIn, it's a professional networking platform and you want to be networking out there. So it's a quick video today, guys. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification. That way you're not going to miss anything moving forward as I do upload new career tips and strategies every Tuesday.